Hello and what's up everyone, Thunderbob here, and tonight I'm checking out a new VR game. This is Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sister. Um, I have some experience with the Warhammer universe. I used to play Warhammer online, god, 10 years ago, more than that, 15 years ago. Um, that got uh, cancelled and, uh, you know, I only played it for like a year. I've never played the actual uh, tabletop Warhammer game, but I played a ton of the video games before. They're strategy games. Um, this is the first one in VR, though. And Warhammer really inspired a lot of uh, the games and storytelling that I enjoy. Things like StarCraft took a lot from Warhammer. Um, so I've always had kind of an interest in it, in its storytelling, and in just kind of the lore and universe of it. Um, we're going to jump in here. I did try this on the Quest 2 briefly. This is the PC VR version now that I'm going to be streaming today, um, running on my computer and air linked to the headset. The uh, Quest 2 version looked okay, though a little bit low poly. I'm kind of curious what the PC version is going to compare. Um, they did add a last bastion mode here recently. It says early access here. This is basically like a horde mode from what I understand with multiplayer added in, which is kind of nice. Uh, but we're going to just jump in and start a new game. It is a time of strife and darkness. Across the galaxy, the dark forces of chaos wage war on the Imperium of Man. Traitor chaos space marines, crazed cultists, and summoned demons conquer planet after planet in the name of their dark gods. Standing in their way are the Battle Sisters, the Adepta Sororitas, an elite military organization of highly trained women dedicated to the protection of mankind. Fearsome and devoted warriors, clad in Baroque power armor, strong in faith and wielding powerful bolter and blade, they seek to purge the heretics by holy force. On the once populous planet of Serian, a force of elite Celestian battle sisters, aided by Imperial Knights of House Mortan, have established a dominant position against the chaos forces of the Word Bearer's Traitor Legion. Under the command of Celestian Superior Viola, the Battle Sisters ready themselves for their final assault. Okay, and if you know much about Warhammer, that probably means more to you. I know the human faction in this are kind of like the good guys, but they're also kind of like jerks. Like they subjugate everyone. There's not a lot of freedom. There's like a god emperor. Um... One battlefield. So there's finally a battlefield game on the, the VR. Only four. Yeah, I gotta say, right off the bat, it looks way better. PC VR versus the Quest version. We'll search through to the enemy beyond. Are you with me, Ophelia? Thumbs up. The time to falter. We're running low on bolt runs. Let's get to the bunker and grab some more. Aurora, hold this position. Watch for raptors on your flank. Ophelia, come. It's the same basic game. Like I only played like, the first ten or fifteen minutes on the quest two, but definitely the resolution and the clarity seems a lot higher. I'm not looking side by side, but jumping from one to the other, it just feels a lot uh, smoother here. One thing I noticed is like you do have the virtual body and it actually follows you pretty decently. Some of these games get really awkward when you walk around, but the virtual body here, it is relatively, uh, relatively well done. I'm gonna try to keep facing that direction. So I usually move in real space, so it's gonna be hard for me. In the Emperor's name. Mm -hmm. You've stood by my side for ten years, Ophelia. I have it no other way. There must be mud in the mechanism. Pull the handle hard to open. I did. I did this part already, so I kind of know what's going on. Even though this looks better than the Quest 2 version, it is still. 
the balls are in the range there. Not like a beautiful game. Like I see it feels like you know, like a Doom 3 kind of quality. Take the ammo, put it in your ammo belt. And look at this gun. It's like a big gun. Can I? I can't drop it. To re to halt to um reload, you'd basically just like bring it down here and oh, does it? I wish that was a little more realistic. Kind of basic uh, gunplay here. I don't know why I have to shoot 15 of these because I feel like by the time I've shot three of them, like I know how the, the gunplay works. And you can't two hand it or one hand it. It doesn't really seem like that much less accurate um, with one versus two. Yeah, I have holsters on both sides. Cool. And it does have that kind of Alex thing where you just kind of point at it and it comes to you. We'll need to move up the line. Get the door and be on your guard. This place is crawling with cultist filth. The controls are just there. And I like, this isn't super deep, like, you know, it's not like Half-Life Alex. it feels more akin to something like, um, Serious Sam, like, kind of a basic run-and-gun shooter. Like, I'm not expecting super deep VR mechanics here. Melt gun. Is that a... Whoa. Okay, use the milk gun to destroy. Probably needed to reload it. She's just like looking at the wall. This is kind of not working. Oh. How do I reload it? The other one, you just okay. We're gonna go back to that. Screen's going black and white. I'm probably. Do anything to help. <laughs> I always guard my rear. Ah, where'd they come from? Where'd she go? This way? If I click in the stick, it kind of does like a, it's, it's not like a sprint, it's more like a dodge, because it only goes for like a second. Get 
rid of this thing and just dual wheel. Oh, so you could reload without having to switch. That's probably why they do that way. That's why the reloading is like so... Um, like non-intuitive, like you don't really have to do much. Hit the A button. Oh, they got behind me. I didn't protect my rear. All right, now we got full ammo. I played another game called uh, Stranger VR. And in the last year, kind of reminded me a bit of this. Makes me wonder if it could be... No, it's not the same developer. I'm sure that actually... Before they came from behind, I'm just gonna make them sure. Those are like the Marines, but I guess they were like betraying. Which is weird, because I thought that... Uh... They were all like fanatics. I don't, I don't see how to open that. Maybe. Climb ladder to exit trench. Where's the ladder? Climb the ladder. Is this the ladder over here? Uh, it's not the ladder. Oh, man, I apparently don't know what a ladder looks like. a terrible looking game definitely some of these textures like are very simplistic like that's one area where like half-life alex ex excels at is like there's some rooms i'll just stare at and be like this looks photorealistic to me and this looks you know more like a playstation 3 era like like a gears of war one kind of Pretty sizable battlefield though for being uh, in VR. Oh. So you got a turret here you can grab. Uh -oh, my battery's going low on my quest. This might. This might be cut a little short, because uh, my headset's going to die here soon. I forgot to charge it, so I didn't charge my um, extended battery. We'll see how this turns out. I'm getting like a little bit of freeze up. I'm not sure if it's because of the battery. They just blow me up. Oh, Ophelia! Ophelia, over here! Violet! No! Ophelia! They were totally lesbians, right? Are you okay? Ophelia, I'll always love you. You must listen. I 
Listening. Listen. She is alive. Kendra, no. Viola, you can't leave us. Go with grace, sister. May Catherine hold you in her arms and give you peace. Whoa. Leonora? She's scary looking. Sanctuary. Oh, I'm gonna end this soon because my headset's got like 10% battery left. It was interesting, the first level. Character models aren't too bad, actually. When one so blessed falls in service to the Emperor, we all mourn the loss. Sister Viola was a credit to the Order. Thank you. Sister Rosalina, apologies. Sister Superior sent me to escort you to your sleeping cell. Shh. It's not much, but enough for privacy and time for reflection. Then lead on, Sister Rosalina. They just like always wear those backpacks. Whoa. It's creepy. I might disconnect here at any time. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool for the first level. I'll have to put some more time into it. I also want to try the horde mode and the multiplayer. Um, I mean, like right now, graphically, this is pretty good gameplay wasn't super deep like it felt like a standard kind of shooter translated into a vr game some you know like hitting switches and stuff but i feel like the vr interactions are probably going to be somewhat limited it doesn't feel like a triple a game it feels kind of like a double a game if that makes sense like there's some budget here but it's definitely not like half-life alex like it's not gonna like probably have the same production qualities but I'll have to put some more time into it many find this convent formidable but I take comfort in its towering walls this is your first visit with us I believe it is a mighty fortress with a fierce beauty but sister must we be so formal apologies it reminds me of that Unreal tournament map, like the, the one that's out, out in space. Across all corners of the segmentum, five are Celestians. I hope I bring the order such glory. We all do. I know later you get powers, which you can like do hand gestures or actually speak to uh, to produce. That's kind of cool. I don't know when they unlock though. Probably not going to get to them tonight. news reports here. Man, why'd they make this puck so far? So, Rosalina, how do you serve the martyred lady? Fiercely, but impetuously. If you believe Sister Superior, I'm far too eager to earn my scars on the battlefield. You will. And in St. Catherine's honor. But do not look for death. It will find you soon enough. We all fight. Fight until the Emperor is ready to accept our souls. 
I will pray for the chance to fight by your side, Ophelia. And then you can judge how hot-headed I am. Thank you, Rosalina. Call me Rosa. For real, like, they made this, like, a ten-minute walking through, like, very similar corridors. Pardon me. There's a lot of skulls in their the religion. Door has been encoded to your biosignature. Place your hand on the panel to activate it. That's probably a good stopping point. As I said, humble. <laughs> Sister Viola left strict instructions on her death that you were to have her bolt pistol, power sword, and Rosarius. Yes. If there's anything you need, no. you can call me on the fox over there. I'm at like five percent. It's not happy. Airlink's like, yo, we're about to disconnect. This weapon has bored a hole through the skulls of many a heretic. I will avenge you with this, Viola. By the power of Green Skull. All right. I really wanted to use the sword. I don't think I'm gonna get to it tonight, but. Viola's Rosarius said to give protection to anyone who wears it. Not enough to save her. Mr. Athena, Inquisitor Malika. Inquisitor, this is a most unexpected honor. We must speak of Leonora. My sister died 10 years ago. So you were told, and a necessary lie. You are twins, yes? Perhaps that connection you have with your sister makes your value to the Psyker. This is a mission of great importance and value to the glory of the Emperor. Glory of the Emperor. Glory of the Emperor. Glory of the Emperor. Ophelia! I don't know how, but the conditions are terrible. Alright, I'm gonna end it here before my headset dies, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it for the 20 minutes I've put into it so far. I'll definitely put a little bit more time in, maybe do a review on it if I beat it. Um, if you've got this and you want to check out some multiplayer, hit me up. I'd be happy to play it with you. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and have a great night. Oh, that's a little disappointing. Whoa. Oh, it can block. Okay, yeah, I'm done. So, thanks again for watching, everyone. It's a pretty cool sword. Have a great night.